Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashton and today I have a planner update for you. We're gonna be flipping through my personal size Filofax planner. Just a little update to my system and kind of the context if you're curious. I have been using my Homonichi Cousin as my one and only planner for the first half of 2023. But as we're going into the summer, I feel like my planning needs are changing just a little bit. And so I've moved into personal rings. Um, my cousin is still on deck. It's still my journal and I'm still using it. And I might move fully back into it at some point this year. I wouldn't be surprised if I do. For now, I'm just loving having um, the personal planner, which just feels a little lighter not physically lighter, but lighter in the sense that I can actually put this in my bag and take this with me. Whereas my cousin feels like a little bit more of a personal journal as well as like, I'm very protective about the pages not getting smushed and I don't love carrying a cousin around with me. I, I just love it, you know, to stay at home on my desk kind of thing. So I'm just liking um, the personal rings for now. So this is the um, Filofax Malden in this pretty pink color. This is actually my first time using a Malden. Um, I've used so many different types of planners and Filofaxes, but I've actually never used a, a Malden. So I'm really excited about it. And so far I really like it. My only complaint is just the rings being a little bit small, but we're making it work. The pocket setup on the Malden is unique. It's really great for like credit cards. Um, right now I just have my business cards in there and I have my little laminated schedule. So this is kind of like my work schedule, um, not to a T, like I don't follow this every week by any means, but it's just when I go to plan my week, I look at this and I make sure that um, I have planned enough time to work on all these things and then I you know It's not been a while since I did one of these tasks and just make sure that um, I refer to this card all the time. So Very helpful to have that in here And then I just have some stickers back here um, Not too many. I just have some that I wanted to use in my weeklies so and monthlies um, so this is just a vision board. This is my sort of 2023 goals vision board. Same thing that I have on my cousin. I just made in Photoshop um, like a little small tiny version of it. I have that in a Filofax pocket. Um, I also have this card. I need to fill this out, but um, these cards I created to put in shop orders. So on the back it has my like business card info, but um, the front is a place where you can write your goals and word of the year. These stickers I've had um, since 2020. I briefly had a Louis Vuitton planner and got these with that. So I used some of the stickers, but it's cute. I just like having it in here. I have a couple of cards from Oh my gosh, I always forget the shop name. I think it's Hey Planner Girl. Um, she has these printable cards that you can fill in your own things. So I just have like morning routine, evening routine, um, and then yearly tracker. This one's been pretty helpful actually. I like filling those in. I just fill them in. I made a laminated card and then I just fill them in with a Sharpie. Um, routines, I'm not like a follow the same routine every day person, but it is helpful if, you know, I wake up and I'm just like, it's one of those days and I'm like, I don't know what I should be doing right now. It does give me like something to start with. And same thing for the night routine. Um, this was just a little card that came with a piece of jewelry that my husband gave me. And I've had this like in all my planners because I just love it. Dividers I got from cloth and paper. Um, I've been really happy with these. They are just a plastic. They're just like a little bit different than the clear dividers. I don't love the clear dividers anymore just because they take up so much space. Like they're so thick and these are a little more thin. And I kind of like that they're not see-through. Like it's kind of nice, just something different. But I really like these. I just have some sticky notes on here. 
These are from my shop. Um, I still have them in my shop if you want to grab some. These are from this sticky note pad. I am obsessed with this thing. Um, unfortunately, the sticky notes are not the best quality, but look how cute the cover is. I got this at a discount store and I just was so happy when I found it. It was like $2, but um, I'm definitely gonna use up all the stickies, but they're not that great of quality, I'll be honest. This is just a Peanuts Planner Co. list insert, and I'm using this as an inbox, so I have one for personal and work. And this works much better um, for me than just like a list because I actually have room to write details, and so I really like that. And then I'll just, you know, color in the circle when it's done. Same thing here. Um, and then I just have some random notes about different things. These were just Bible verses that I kind of want to um, remember, reread, and then just trying to write some positive affirmations to think about. Packing list. I'll be honest, I do not like this paper. <laughs> this is Filofax paper that came with the planner. And I mean, I love the lined ones, like they're nice, but this grid is so dark, it's like you almost can't see the writing on it. So I'm trying to use them up really quick. Like I just was testing pens and highlighters. Um, I had a pen, some pen drama this week. Um, we'll, we'll talk about pens at the end. <laughs> How about that? At the back of the, um, so this first tab, by the way, I don't think I said, this is just like my notes section. Anytime, you know, something comes up, this is where I'm going to write it down. So at the end, I have this Plan With B um, printable that has a huge list of things to um, task reminders. Um, that's really helpful. It's like, you know, oil change, change your light bulbs, empty your vacuum, lots of like cleaning stuff and planning things. So I really think this is a good list. Um, my next section is goals. So it's really slim. I'm still working on this section. I have this little sticky note that's been around for a while with just some of my like habits that I wanna focus on. This little card came with cloth and paper order. I thought it was cute. This was actually from a Happy Planner. It's like a Disney princess dashboard and I just cut it down to fit in here. And then I have these goal inserts from like, I cannot remember the shop at all, but I will find it. I will find it for you and put it in the description. But I really like their goal inserts. They have a variety. Um, I found it on Etsy. And so this one's nice because it has a column for each year. So it's like a three-year goal planner. And then on the side, you have different categories. So I just wrote like, you know, different goals for each one. And um, then these are like a goal planning insert where you can actually break down a lot of tasks. So... They look like this. It's like the goal, why you can color in the mar the progress bar and you have this. So like for this one, I just put it on a sticky note cause I haven't copied it into the actual insert, but this one's just like, I want to do all like finish all these home projects this year. So just kind of brainstorming on the sticky note. Um, and then this is like my favorite current cute spot in my planner. So over here, I just have a postcard that I designed and then I just made this little bookmark dashboard thing from um, the piece of plastic that comes if you order Hobonichi Weeks. Some of them have a plastic to protect it on the front and the back. So I took those and I just, I think I made a couple of them. And I just punched it and then I put the little clear Hobonichi pocket right there. Um, so it makes a little pocket. And this is just a clear sticker that I designed. Um, it's in my shop as well. And this was just like a little sticker from, I went to the Girl Scout Museum this year for the first time. So I had to buy a sticker, of course. And then I thought it looked really nice with um, the florals with this insert from Plan With B. It's just a holiday list. I wanna like cross out the holidays that already passed, but I don't because the insert just looks so pretty. And then this is just a overview. So this is like where I will jot in things as they're coming up or just occur to me that I wanna do. And so I just have like the upcoming months, July through December in here. And I'll just kind of write things in like as I think of them. 
And then after the month passes, I've been writing down my memories in this fold out insert from Peanuts Planner Co. So you have all 12 year, all 12 months and it folds out. Um, and I just like it to write down like all of my accomplishments and memories. And so I have this nice overview to look back on. And then the monthly inserts that I'm using are Peanuts Planner Co. I have probably used these inserts every time I, I do a, a ring planner, um, like forever. They're actually a freebie from Peanuts Planner Co., which is really nice. And so I'll just go through and I pretty much will just put in birthdays and holiday stickers. And those are from my shop and I like to just put in, um, go through the whole year and put in all the holidays and all the birthdays that I wanna remember. Not all the birthdays, I really just put in like um, my close family, like parents and sister and stuff, but then I liked that for 2023 she actually had added this um, vertical column so I'm using that to track a couple of habits so the current month is June so for May I went back and I did fill in like just a couple things I did not fill in everything but just a couple things that I wanted to be able to refer to from the current month like in case I wanted to know like when did such and such happen, I have those in there. So for June, it's pretty simple. I just have a little bit of highlighting and like I said, my holidays and birthdays and then kind of just, you know, writing things in as I go. Um, for pre-planning, I'm just kind of putting in July, like I'll go ahead and write things in if you know, if I need to write something in because that's the next month. But other than that, it's just like if I had an appointment or something, um, anything major, but I don't really fill, I don't really fill my monthlies in ahead of time. I like to just have it as a thing I can do right before the month starts to set it all up. So when I ordered this Filofax planner, it came with the 2023 inserts. And so I thought I would go ahead and try it out. Um, this is just an overview where I have little hearts over the months that passed. This is cute. Like I love tracking, you know, the little stickers, but I have to say these little calendars are the wrong way and it drives me nuts because I've tried to look at these a few times and it doesn't like, I don't know. I don't know. Is it like a UK thing or is it just me? Like, I don't understand. Why are the Monday through Sunday like going down a vertical column? so confusing my brain does not know how to read that like i know it's just the calendar but my brain is going what like i don't what this doesn't make sense these inserts are from your paper and line coat and i love these um so they're so they have i think i have a blank one i can show yeah so they have this really nice page for a real reflection of the month and then the page on the back has space to plan out the new month so I really love those um, so I have this spot in my planner marked by this overview dashboard from cloth and paper so I have the previous month I have the current month goals and then I have my habit tracker the habit tracker is from SM plans really like this layout and I've been doing pretty good on my habit tracker this month actually so that's a rarity but fun I like fully coloring in the boxes let me know are you a color in person or do you do like an X or check mark I feel like I have to color it in um, on this type of insert so I can see what's done um, okay the weekly inserts not not a huge fan of these um, but I was like, let me just try it out. And um, on camera, they, they look pretty neutral, but in person, I feel like this paper is really a little bit more yellow than I like. Um, but I didn't want to waste these inserts. I really wanted to try and use them and see if it would work for me. So I kind of, I, I really don't know like how to set things up in here just because each day is just one box. Like it's hard to, sort of separate things so um 
yeah, I feel like I use this to the fullest, but it's just so hard to plan an entire day in like this little box. So for now, for the current week, I'm trying something different. Okay, not sure where I was. Um, my camera quit on me, but for this week, I'm trying out the week on one page inserts from Essen Plans. I really like this as a quick overview. And so that seems to be nice when I pair those with a daily insert. And so I really love these daily inserts from Paper Tess. It's a great layout um, coming from the Hobonichi Cousin, which is what I'm used to using. Um, it's a very similar layout because you have a timeline here. You have um, check boxes up here. I think there's a version that does not have check boxes if you don't want that. And then there's just a big space and the grid size is similar. So it's nice. It's nice, like feels very comfortable to use. My next section, so that was all just big, you know, giant planning section. <laughs> My next section is kind of self care slash personal section. The next two sections really are. Um, so in here I've got a EO edits dashboard printed on vellum. And then this one was from Crufective Paper. I thought this was really cool. Just like a little bucket list you can fill in. And then I think I would put a sticker over top when I do the activities. And then I have some doctor appointment inserts from Sessa V. I've used these forever. Um, I always like to use this one and it's just nice. Like I feel like it just has like the perfect amount of space. Um, printed out a list of all the Marvel movies, <laughs> highlighting the ones I've seen. Uh, then I have my reading log. This is from SM Plans. I just track like just the books I've read in 2023. Then I have this little divider I made. Um, so it has a top tab. So the top and bad bottom tab things are the things that I want to go through and check each day. So um, on my self-care little tab, I have a cycle tracker that I want to track, fill in, make sure it's updated. Um, and I'm using a Peanuts Planner Co. insert for that. Like a, I forget what it's called, but you know, the whole year on front and back page. Same insert for a weight tracker. And then this is an insert from Crefective Paper again. I thought this was so cool. So you can check off for every day your stress level or happiness level, you know, it's kind of like a range. Um, I've been checking off like more than one if needed. And then you can write down three causes. So, you know, like check off the box, write down like, mine usually looks like stressed because it was raining or happy because it was sunny. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But um, I think it's cool to like see patterns. Then I have a Peanuts Planner Co. health log. This is really great. Um, I really like these for just anything like I stayed up too late or I have a headache or whatever. Um, few of those. And then I just have a bunch of Tomo River paper back here. So this is like my journaling section. Um, I just like to have this, this extra paper in here and this is nice to write on just because um, I'm not carrying around this cousin with me right now. I'm not going to it every single day. So um, if I do feel like I need some journaling space, I have that back here. And I love the Tomo River paper, of course, because that's the same as the cousin. And then I have a gratitude log. I just started it on some lined paper. And then I did print out the SM Plans gratitude insert. I like the design of that. Another kind of personal section. I don't really know why I have two, but... Um, back here, I have the EO edits inserts. So I have like the lifestyle designer and then I forget what the other one was called, but it's like lifestyle something. I don't know, but there's like all these fun journaling, um, prompts. So it's like values, you know, color schemes, um, there's place to set up your goals. So. I haven't filled everything out yet, but I really love these inserts. Um, it's a great shop. I really like, I really like those inserts. So got a couple of those. And then back here is just kind of my like finance slash reference information section. So 
Um, I've got this little card. This has been in like all my planners. This is just like a little financial um, task card that I made inspired by Maddie Plans, of course. Um, but yeah, this has been floating around in my planners forever. So my bills right now I'm doing with this insert. Um, I wanna say this is from Puffin Pages, but I could be wrong. It's just an overview of the year. And so um, all I do is just list like regular bills on the line section and I just check them off when they're done. And then this section, you know, I can use for whatever. Um, I've been just totaling up my credit cards so I know how much I spend each month. And then I'll put like if I have car insurance or something else like just unique to the month, I'll put that in there. This is from Plan With B, a subscription page, and I just use it to just have a little list of any recurring subscriptions just so that I know I don't forget them, <laughs> forget that I have them. Not that that would happen. Um, this medical bills insert. So this is actually from Peanuts Planner Co. It's not called that. It's called like, I think task management, but you can change the titles if you want. So um, I, I do this for medical bills and this has been so helpful because my cousin, I would just have a running list and I would just cross them out when they were taken care of. And sometimes one line was not enough space. So for instance, in this one, I will write down the bill in this gray box and then the check box will be like for the things that I did. So it'd be like the date I paid it, um, when did I submit it to insurance, if there was a conflict or an issue. Um, so these are really, really helpful with the medical expenses because it's like the bane of my existence. But <laughs> these are helpful because I have like a place to note confirmation numbers and all the things like, did I scan the receipt? You know, all that stuff. So I don't forget like what's what's happening on each one. Um, and then I have a savings log from Sessa V. I really like this design too because you can color in the bar. So very visual. And then this was from um, Perfective Paper also. And I thought this was really cool. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this for my savings goal or not, but I thought it was really nice. I thought it was a really nice way to save, um, you know, fun color in the bubbles. And I like that it's broken down into small amounts. And then I have a um, list from my, man my minimal planner of Dave Ramsey's baby steps and then also types of income on the back. I thought that was great. Car maintenance from Sessa V also. Then I found this gift planner insert. Um, it's a freebie. I will find it and link it below, but I thought it was great because you have this big box for each person, which you know works really well for me because I will often think of things when it's not birthday or it's not a holiday. And it just gives you space to write down something for that person. And then, you know, whenever you get to it, you can get to it. But I like that there's a lot of space. Um, pet tracker, I think this was from the same shop. Not totally sure. If you're curious where anything was from or I didn't say, um, leave a comment and I'll, I'll figure it out for you. So this was um, a pet insert. So this one just has pet info and then um, vet appointments and then a care log. I really thought that was a good layout. And then my last thing in here is just an address change list from Plan With B. I thought this was great if you have to change an address, phone number, or something. It's a really good list. And then at the back, I just have a little clear pocket from Filofax, I think, or um, might be from cloth and paper, and then a little page lifter. So I just thought that was cute with the floral background. Um, okay, so I said I was gonna share pens. That's it for the planner setup. Um, so my favorite, I actually lost my favorite, two favorite pens this weekend. <laughs> One of them ran out of ink. So that was the Pilot Juice um, in 0.5. And then my other favorite pen is a deli pen. I got it from Cloth and Paper. It's a 0.5 gel pen. They don't sell it any longer at Cloth and Paper. I lost it. I scoured the internet for the pen. I cannot find the pen. If you know where to buy a deli clear 0.5 gel pen, let me know. 
um, because I'll do anything. It's my favorite pen. But um, right now I'm using like my third favorite pen, which is the um, Villa Beautiful uh, pens. I don't know if they're, I don't know if there's different types of like refills or not, but the ones I have are 0.5 gel, which is the only thing I use. And, um, but it's hard to find them. Like they don't play w that well with highlighters. None of them. It's just, you know, part of dealing with a gel pen. Um, but this one, I might buy another one cause it's like a little bit scratched, but I love the way this thing writes. It writes really nice. Um, not as good as my deli pen, but it's, it's still good. And then my highlighters, I've been loving these highlighters. My sister gave me these highlighters um, and I love them. They're really nice pastel colors. And um, if you just let your gel pen dry long enough, then they're fine, they will work. That's the pen situation. So that concludes my planner update for now. I hope you enjoyed the flip through of my Filofax. If you have any questions, leave them below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in my next one. Bye.